What did you see from Severino as he was progressing? I thought he kept getting better. You know, I thought he was, and, and I thought his misses were, were good misses. Um, I thought the umpire had a really good strike zone, um, and he was, you know, he was he was in and around the corners. Um, and I thought, you know, he finished the day probably in his mind emptying the tank there a little bit, so he had a li little extra juice even there at the the end of his outing. But I thought overall he was sharp. Part of your <coughs> objection there, the runner getting home. That was being my away. only objection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they should have been placed at third. It's Correct. It's discretion correct on placing runners in situations like that. And Correct. Thought because the runner maybe slowed when they called foul ball, that yeah. he should not have been awarded home. Yeah, I, I clearly it was a fair ball, and we knew that. And then when they said he scored, you know, I took exception to that and at least wanted to know the explanation for it and, and didn't really get that, basically just saying, you can't argue this. And I said, I want the explanation. Um, so... You know, but in the end, I, I think the way the ball trickled away, um, I think you can make the case he he scores there. I know you like the bullpen depth, but the still veteran arms out, and you guys continue to put up tremendous numbers. Bullpen who runs a lot this series, 1.34 ERA for the road trip, and a lot of innings too. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> credit to them. I mean, a number of guys have stepped up in, in whatever role we've put them in. Um, you know, try and put them in positions where they can be successful, but ultimately it comes down to them going out there and executing. And, and there's been a few guys, you know, I think of Ian being on the IL right now, but in, him in that mix of guys that have really taken advantage of opportunities with a couple guys down, um, you know, pretty much everyone down there has been in a big spot in a high leverage situation and you know more often than not they've been able to deliver and, and today obviously knowing that Seve was going to be short we knew we're and and knowing we're down you know King or Marinaccio today you know you're gonna have to piece it together a little bit and and they all went out and did their job and did it well so and, and more often than not we've gotten that how would you sum up this trip overall great trip um, you know look this is <laughs> It's been a tough stretch, you know, 33 out of 34, um, varying degrees of health. You know, we've gotten some guys back but have been beat up. Um, but I'm, I'm excited about how well this team is competing. Um, their level of, of, again, walk in with edge, prepare, and compete. And they're doing that at a high level right now. And, you know, we're going to continue to get hopefully healthier. And that'll continue to help us and, and make us stronger. But um, the way this group is competing um, is, is, has really impressed me, especially through a tough stretch, you know, where we, now we finally get a day off and get to, into the homestand and hopefully we can do well there. Is there any extra satisfaction for this road trip, knowing that it began with a lot of controversy and a lot of crazy things happened in Toronto and you guys played through it and still win six out of seven? Um, I don't know. I mean, look, I mean, that's something we try and prepare for all the time and talk about all the time, you know, is is whatever comes our way. You know, we know we're going to face adversity. We know we're going to face highs, lows, whatever it is. We got to be be equipped to deal with it. And, you know, they've they've dealt with it so far well. Um, but we also understand we got we got a long, long way to go and we got to keep keep putting our best foot forward. But pleased with with how we came out on this road trip and just again control control and that's edge prepare compete and we're doing that